Okay, this will be a, a quick how to replace HWH hydraulic jack return springs. Got the new springs there. And what I did is uh, crafted a pry tool. And I already did the back right of the motorhome. And the pry tool might be a skosh long. I didn't know how much tension was going to be on it, but we'll see if we can get it to work on the front. The idea is that you uh, hook this little device around the coil spring. So as you come up to the coil spring, you can just hook right onto that. And then that'll pull, as you pry down, the spring out of the foot pad of the hydraulic jack. And then depending on what you're prying against at this end, this will slide uh, completely off the tool if you want. But this will slide um, for the exact measurement you need for prying. So let's see if we can get the front ones done. And this is what they look like right now. You see those two rusted springs and the pad. So I'm going to hook around that little loop that's right there and one on this side. We'll do each one individually. And the idea of the, the Lego blocks, if you will, uh, is to keep the foot from tilting left or right as you're prying down. Uh, I don't have the jacks extended, as you can tell. And uh, if you have to put a little shim, the, the, the space for the Lego blocks is just perfect. Uh, there's a little bit of an air gap. I don't know if you can see that between there. They're not actually touching the foot. So let's do okay. this. We're going to replace the spring here on this jack, this rusted one, with a new one. And uh, I'm going to use my new pry tool to hook onto the outside of that spring and then pry it down. This hole up here is for a threaded rod that I can slide into the hole to give me more distance for prying. Uh, I probably made my pry rod a little bit too long. But anyway, so we hook this up here. Bear with me, I'm doing this one-handed. And uh, in the background here, see if I can point to it, that, well, this is the leaf spring. There's the shackle and the leaf spring, and I'm going to pry against that. And I've got to put that threaded rod through my bar. So let me do that real quick. And then that will go underneath the leaf spring as such. Now I can pry straight down on the coil spring and pull it out like that. Voila. And then all you gotta do is disconnect it from the top and the spring will come right out. Well, of course, I'm contending with all sorts of things with one hand here. All right. And there it is. So, the new one. We'll come up here and connect in this hole. Of course, I'm doing things where I can't see what I'm doing again. There we go. And then I've got to do, just in reverse, pry that back down and connect it up. I don't think I can do this with one hand on the... But we can give it a shot. Okay, get the coil spring in that hole. There we go. Get the threaded rod underneath the leaf spring. Like that. Okay, I've definitely got to put this down and use two hands. We'll go ahead and use two hands to do this. I'm going to pry this down and see if I can connect my new spring into the hole. Try that again. 
I need to slide my bracket down a little bit, get closer to the hole. There we go. One more time. And there it is. And there we go. And that's both springs replaced. Okay, well here's my pry tool. Just crafted this and this is uh, the threaded rod that would go up and hit the frame. And then I need to cut the threaded rod at the correct length. And then this is the apparatus that will uh, connect to this, the coil spring so I can pry it down. Uh, I'm thinking I may not even need this threaded rod and just use this on, uh, on the leaf spring on the front and on the actual jack uh, cross member on the back. And then this adjusts forward and back to allow me to um, uh, actually connect to the spring. And that's what the holes are for is to connect onto that spring. So, so just a, uh, it's about a four foot long pry bar. So now I'll have to see if it works. <laughs>